coconuts are not all the same. Um, they come in different stages of ripeness. We're not going to talk about the drinking stages or the green stages or premature ones. These are all the mature stages. And from them we make milk and cream and ice cream and whatever you want to do with it. But there's subtle differences in it and I'd just like to explain it and show you how I do it quickly in the kitchen. So it's a uh, you know, simple procedure. That's normally what you buy in the supermarket. It's brown and hairy. It hasn't germinated yet. That's one that's germinated and uh, it has a brain growing inside or an apple or angel fruit, whatever we call it. Different all over the world, but beautiful. Um, these are very sweet and add a sweetness to the oil because it's been activated and most islanders and you know, traditional cultures know that this is the yumminess. And this is the easiest to transport and what you'll see in the supermarket. This is probably a bit fresher, it's still mature, but um, hasn't fully dried out the eyes so it's not ready to germinate. But uh, as a cream, it's um, very um, manageable because it's emulsified and doesn't separate uh, in the fridge. So you'll end up um, with uh, milk that you can keep using, you know, for a day or a couple of days or just one meal. Whereas the other ones you'll end up with cream or oil separating out and sitting on the top and that's delicious, you know, you can use it as a dense cream and, and discard the water. So many different subtle things, I'll show you how to do it. So this is the um, odorous um, data, the first one uh, invented in Sri Lanka by this uh, lovely man and his son still runs the company. Uh, started in 1952 and uh, everyone else has more or less copied but this is uh, one of the most robust models. Tighten that onto the bench, put a little bit of cardboard or something there to, so there's no movement. Nice high, high bowl to catch it all and we make a bag a uh, little pointy bag to milk. There's very little water left in that. So one hard crack around the outside or many soft cracks. It doesn't matter if a bit of the core pith or whatever goes into your cream. And that is what we call angel fruit. It's one of the most um, delicious things you'll ever find. Uh, the kernels actually started to separate off, so it will be a little bit hard to grate, but you can see it's very uh, reduced, um, enzymatically reduced oil from the kernel starting to be transported through this organ into in, into the actual root and the shoot. So, this is something else. But warm it up and let this oil percolate through it even more. It is sweet and sugary and delicious. So we'll start by just putting some of this into the cream. The brown layer is what contains all the tocopherols or vitamin E. And quite often, because people don't want discoloured oil, they'll only grate up to the white. But um, from a health perspective, you, you could even grate half the shell in. The test layer and shell have gone in, but they won't really uh, affect the cream at all. If anything, they'll enhance it. Now, um, I will put in one of these younger ones as well to the batch. We'll get a little bit more water from here and that will help with uh, releasing the kernel. Give it a whack around the equator. Sometimes it, you know, you hit it on the lines. And I'll just collect all that water. You can see a fully mature nut but the layer inside the shell is, is a lighter brown. It hasn't gone um, dark yet like that. So we'll uh, add a little bit of warm water now because that more or less liquefies um, the oils and I 
just put it over the blade because it will do my washing up as I go. So that's probably about the a little bit more than the volume of a coconut plus the, the young coconut's volume plus some of the water from the mature one or the sprouted one and with uh, clean hands we um, we milk it and this is here with um, things like kava or uh, you know, some other um, yeah, herbal um, drinks helps the enzymes that are present um, you know, to, to act on on the kernel that's um, you know I guess softens under the you know the warmth of the water and eventually you know, it's oilier and oilier and That'll be good for your hands. And why I want to show this is because uh, you know, a lot of people would think it's not a kitchen job, not an out, you know, this is something you have to do out in the yard in front of the hose, but I'll just show you that it's really you know, quite easy to manage. You know, in a you know, modern kitchen and you know, the, the um, grater can live on the bench or you know we put it away each time and um, the bag is made extra tough of course it's not your average like sprouting bag but you know these are you know, just polyester curtains it's nothing too complicated but what's nice then is we can just feed this directly to the chooks. Then turn it inside out and give it a quick rinse. You know, so you know. Oh, you cannot have too much. 